And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC light heavyweight champion and ultimate fighter season winner and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Forrest Griffin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel, the last dial bender, Ready to fight? Ready. Go ahead. Well, he came into the UFC as one of the hottest prospects the Octagon had seen in years, and Israel Adesanya has done nothing to diminish that hype. Stuffed 12 takedowns in his UFC debut, and the expectation is that most opponents are going to try to ground the last style bender. Let's see if he can keep this fight up right here tonight. Now drops inside that close guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks the submissions or big ground and pop. Adesanya's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Investing in the body with the kick there. Another big body kick land. Oh, man, these fighters are trading strikes early on. It's exactly what we expected from these two. Another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. All right, so another nice strike to the thigh. Some bruising starting to develop, and that could render his opponent a one-legged fighter here. Now. And it'll take some time. It'll take some time when you land it there. But trust me, when you can dead that leg with those leg kicks, you can really start to see... Two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, Chris boxing here, the right punch followed immediately up by a left. Israel Adesanya's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's made the day. What a kick that one landed. All right, well, as many expected, the narrative in this one, Israel Adesanya striking, seemingly taking it to another level here tonight. He just continues to get better. And it's very familiar, right? We know that when you have to stand with the last style bender, you're in trouble. But you're, you don't have the ability to take him down. He leads all fights with his striking tremendous performance. And that's that's the danger. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. Both men going for the finish. Oh, big left hook there. What a round. All right, mercifully, that is it for the round. And... Griffin's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. All right, let us show you the highlights now from that previous round. Ready. Ready. Go. Second round here. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try to set up another hook here. Beautiful job with the hands there by Israel Adesanya. When you focus too much on the kicks, that's what happens. You get cracked with that Adesanya right hand. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but 
don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Good takedown defense by Israel. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are hurt. Both guys are hurt. Both guys are fighting beautifully. Both are short on live. from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. 90 seconds to go. Shots being landed on both sides. Ooh. All right, so a good series of kicks by him there. He has mixed it up beautifully, I think, on the feet tonight. He is kicking everywhere tonight. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, look at the redness underneath that left elbow. He is badgering that left side of the body. Oh, oh big knee! And back to his feet. Seconds here of round two. Good round. All right, so the round mercifully comes to an end. And how about the cut on his lip? Really, really bad. If that thing gets any worse, they're going to certainly have to stop this fight. The doctor looks like he's already going to be called in here. All right, DC, we got a few clips of the damage done in that round. Can see where things really started to escalate. Yeah, really open up that cut, John. The blows are just devastating. He's got to get out of the way more. I mean, if this... You ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Third and final is underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round. This fight's going to be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his attack. Side control now. Nicely done. All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. That one hurt. I mean, that's it. One more in this fight is going to be stopped. Oh, with authority, the body. Beautiful kick there. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Well, I can't even relate to the mental and physical toughness we are seeing from these two individuals. Both fighters damaged and compromised and yet leaning on the heart here late in the fight. Yeah, they're both leaning on the heart. They're both trying to really show that they belong. They're both trying to show that they're the better fighter. They have been matched at every single step. They're both bloody, battered, bruised, but neither one of them is willing to take a step back. These guys want to win. Oh, heavy shots raining down. Look at him attacking that guillotine. That guillotine is tight. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, this is tight. Oh, got There it is. Great job recognizing that the triangle is more dangerous than the armbar. Now, he's mounted. 
but he's not stuck in a very deep submission. Oh, and he's back up again. Final round, final minute. What a fight it is. Oh, for the referee, he can't fall. The damage should be go down on both sides. I mean, it's so easily matched. These guys have done such a great job of staying in the fight. There have been many moments in this fight where you thought one of them just did not have enough. Look at all the blood. Look at all the bruises on these two fighters. These guys have done a tremendous job. This is a fight of the night candidate. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Oh, he's stunned, trying to recover here. Oh! Oh, what a fight as we go the full 15 minutes. I wouldn't be surprised to see them run it back at some point in the future. Boom, body kick right there, landed perfect. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. For the winner by majority decision, Israel, the last style bender, Asanya. All right, well, you've heard Bruce say that before. Israel Adesanya, your winner by decision. Clean, dominant performance. Maybe